Hello everyone, this is John Cox, president of Cape Cod Community College. And I wanna share a few minutes with you to talk about spring semester 2022. We're excited to welcome our returning students back and to meet the many students who are just beginning their journey towards powerful futures at Cape Cod Community College. Ready? Okay, first, classes start January 24th in five different formats, depending on what you chose to give you as much flexibility as possible. We have in-person, mask to mask, we have online, we have remote, we have hybrid, and we have high flex option. That allows you to choose if you'd like to be in the classroom or zoom in live each week. Second, as you prepare for the start of your classes, I wanna cover a few important items. The vaccine verification, the health and safety protocols in all our buildings and classrooms and labs, and the virtual and in-person access to student services. On vaccination verification, if you're taking any in-person mask-to-mask courses on campus, or if you plan on coming to campus for any reason, you're required to submit proof of your vaccination against COVID-19. Many of you have already done so, and for this, I am truly thankful. Being vaccinated remains the single most critical defense we have against COVID. And this measure will keep our college community safe. If you haven't already done so, you can submit the vaccination proof to enrollment at capecod.edu. Again, that's enrollment at capecod.edu. And we strongly encourage you to get the booster. A reminder, if you're just taking online classes, virtual or remote, and won't be coming to campus for any reason, you do not need to submit proof of vaccination. Now the health and safety protocols. Let's review what we're doing to keep you safe, especially when you're on campus, in addition to the vaccine requirements to be on campus. If you're sick or if you feel sick, stay home. Take care of yourself and let your instructor know. We continue to require masks in all our buildings, so make sure you're properly covered when you arrive. N95 or surgical mask are highly recommended. If you don't have a mask, we have masks available at the entrances of our buildings. We maintain physical distancing across the board. We have our classrooms and gathering spaces set up for the CDC suggested three feet of physical distancing. And in addition to our ongoing cleaning, air purification machines are in every building on campus, in classrooms, meeting rooms, labs, and offices, constantly running and filtering the air. Okay, now, about virtual and in-person access to important services that support your success every day. On campus, you can still come in and utilize academic support services, including tutoring, the Wilkins Library, advising, and the computer labs. Check out the website for specifics and reach out to those services before you show up. We want to avoid crowded gatherings in our offices and labs. We also have all student services available to you through a remote access. You can meet virtually when it works for you, and that includes financial aid, wellness appointments, and our mental health counselors, and student clubs, and more. Our entire college community is here to help you. So if you have questions about how and where to get help, reach out and we'll be there for you. A good place to start is by emailing enrollment at capecod.edu. Again, that's enrollment at capecod.edu. As you're contemplating the first day, remember, there's a reason why community is in our name. Our collective village, our community is here to help you succeed and accomplish your higher education goals. You have the talent and the drive. 
and we have the people ready to support and encourage you, answer your questions, and provide whatever you need to achieve your educational goals. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me at president at capecod.edu. And after your first day, send me an email. Let me know how it's going. I really want to hear from you. And I wish you all the best for a very productive time at Cape Cod Community College.